All right, so floors are done. And this is the view from the front door. So here is going to be the formal dining, which it's because we have space for it because really don't do much entertaining, but I picked up this light fixture from Home Depot. This is one of three items that are gold in the house and I'm not sure I love it. So we will see how it goes. I picked this up in gold because this beauty up here has gold. So probably should have went black, but I didn't want black either. Even though fireplace mantle has black, but we'll see. So if you come in from here, the wall color is Shoji White by Sherwin-Williams, which as you can tell, looks completely different depending on the lighting in the room. I like 5,000K 5, daylight, so these bulbs will probably have to be changed. So then right across is the office. This will be my office because I keep my office clean. So probably gonna put my futon there, thinking desk here, and then my bookshelves here, I think. I don't love having my back to the door, but I hate all the cables facing this way, so we'll see about that. So here we have a coat closet. And then on this side, is more like a utility closet. And they actually had the whole house wired for surround sound, but we decided to take that out. So that's what those wires are for and why there are plugs in here. This will probably serve as storage for my power lifting stuff and then also some cleaning stuff, but we'll see. So then as you continue forward, this is the living room, which is one of the things that sold me on this house. I absolutely love the high windows. It's about to storm, but I just love this open floor plan. So I could be in here cooking and minding everybody else's business. So probably gonna put something here seating wise a bench or something i don't know yet that's to catch bugs because contractors were in here doing the most with the doors open and the air conditioner on 70. and then if i back up by the fireplace this is the view stairs had carpet we decided to paint which i absolutely love them so of course, sofa here, the one I have now will probably be too small, but we'll just get it in here and then figure it out. Mount the TV there, probably put a plant in that corner, some nice little, not full bookshelves because I don't want to cover the windows, but something in front of the windows to give some storage. And then this area, we might do a little bitty table. This is the other fixture that has gold to try to tie it in. Um, we might try to do a bar and breakfast nook area, but I just feel like these don't really have enough space to put stools here. I don't know, we'll see. I do have two stools, so we will see how that goes. So then as you walk through here, that light is actually really, really bright. Um, it's an LED light and it's the same as the one in the kitchen. It is in a wood finish, it's a walnut. So I felt like it went really well with trying to bring in more brown from the floors without doing everything bronze or brush nickel, which is what we have. So this is a full bath here, which we're probably gonna change this door to a pocket door because you cannot push this door open all the way if you decide to do a curved rod, which they have already, and then probably eventually change this out to a 
just a shower and no tub, but also decided to get new light fixtures. Absolutely love those. Also have them upstairs in the master. And then this will be the guest bedroom. Kind of small, but all you need is a bed. There's a closet. That's a decent size for guests. So there will be some storage in here, but yeah, a queen size bed and a nightstand and maybe an armoire is the plan. And then laundry room here, which has one of those automatic lights. So that's kind of cool. And then the garage is there. This is the kitchen. Do definitely want to paint these cabinets the same color as the brown there, but we will do that later and ultimately change out these appliances for stainless steel, but the sellers left these and they work. So probably going to put the coffee bar there. If I sound out of breath, it's because I just had to bring boxes up and downstairs to my beauty room and your girl was tired. I also worked out today. Um, but I'm not sure about setup yet for everything else because I have my vitamins and my shakers and all of that stuff and then regular dishes. I don't know if they're going to go there or there. Seasonings need to be by the stove. That's all I know. And pots. The pantry is pretty small. I normally love a really big pantry, but being that I have all this cabinet space, I feel like we'll be able to make it work. So also gonna change out the lights for the recessed lights to get them to be brighter because I want bright lights everywhere. So that is it for downstairs. We're back in the dining room and now we're gonna go look upstairs. So if we decide to do seating here, then this is the view you will have. Not sure if we'll actually sit here or maybe just put shoe storage but we decided to use a floor. I think it was called a floor and stair paint or something, but I already see chips on it. So we will have to seal that. And then this was also carpet and we put an extra piece of plywood underneath to bring it up and then just laid the flooring here. And I'm so glad we did that. I did not want carpet on the stairs cause that is a pain in the ass to clean. But I just, I love this view. The floors have a little more variation than what I originally wanted, but I think it works well. They're also warmer than what I expected. So again, I think it all just works. But anyway, so this will be second office here but it was used as a bedroom and you see we have that same wood light can't really see it but i got all these from lowe's or home depot one of the two and here you can see the gold on the chandelier in the foyer love this view so that's why i tried to tie in the gold i just i fell in love with the chandelier so i tried to build everything around that instead of building from what was already installed I am not a decorator, I just do what I like. So that's that. And then this is a bedroom. Changed out the fan, so it also has this remote for that. So this will be a guest bedroom. We did get new carpet, and I think it goes really well with the color. I wanted light, but not too light. And then this is the second bathroom so i'm going to change out those faucets for of course they're upside down and this box is dirty can you even see a picture these and then you have bathroom Like that this has two racks for towels already so super cute and then this is where we have fun so right now hold on because there is also a remote installed for this to turn the light on oh excuse me you have to have this off 
and then this will work. So this is going to be my beauty room and it's attached to the bedroom, which I'm going to love because that's how my house was in Texas. So I could like do all my makeup in here and then go in the room and get dressed and take pictures and it was cute. So I'm probably gonna put my long pack system here and then my camera will be here so that I can have daylight if I want to film with natural light and then also have more storage back here. We talked about closing this door in to give me more wall space, but I don't know if I wanna do that yet. Definitely not doing it right now, but something else to think about. And I absolutely love this light because there is a fan. So now when I am filming, it oscillates. Probably gotta turn the light off to see it. And now you can't see anything. Okay, never mind. But anyway, there we go. I don't think you can see that. Yeah, you can. There you go. There's a fan. So now I don't have to drop the air every time I'm filming. So that was super cute. And I don't feel like it's too blingy. So you got the double doors over there so you can enter the bedroom that way or here through the hallway. And then we also have another closet here which will be a linen closet. I can't stand these wire shelves but I'm gonna get the little shelf liners and then I don't know what this light does, apparently nothing. Yeah, I don't know. There's three switches here, okay. What is this for? I don't know what this first light switch is for, but I know those other two. We also switched out the thermostats to have Nest thermostats. I really wanna know what that light is for. Anyway, so this is the master. This looks so much better now that it's been repainted. They had a bunch of different colors. Um, we did decide to keep those plates. They had the bed here with a shelf up there. We didn't want the shelf, but I'm debating. I know it's bad feng shui to put your bed here, but I am big on symmetry. Y'all saw that lightning? I'm big on symmetry, so I feel like I want the bed centered here, two nightstands on the side, and then you can put the mirrors and all that, versus the view from this way, putting the bed over here, and then probably having to put a nightstand in front of this window, and it just being off-centered, so I don't know yet, but we have a full dresser that'll go here, and then a chest, the tall one, that'll go here, and then this is the master bath. So we have a closet on this side, which has all hanging space and shelves and a crawl space that I will never go in. And then we have this side that has a little bit of hanging space and a lot of cubbies. So haven't figured out how to make that work. Another crawl space, but I got time for that. And then the lights in here are not, I haven't put the light bulbs in yet. So his and hers, walk-in shower. Love how deep this is. So it definitely gives it a bigger feel. So yeah, it's a pretty deep shower, even though it's not wide. So I like that. Big, huge tub. And I bought this cute little table that has a marble top that I'm gonna put either right here or right here. And then love that the bathroom is separate. That's almost a requirement for me. I don't want you pooping while I'm in here getting ready. And then I need light bulbs for those, but also switch these out. I didn't show the ones in the other in the bathroom, but the ones in the other bathroom were in here and I just swapped them out. So I'll show you those real quick. But yeah, this is it. A lot more space than what I currently have. I'll just show these other lights real quick. I hope they show up. This light switch is weird. Um, yeah, you can see them. So these were in the master and I just moved them to in here. So I have to change out the bulbs so they're all the same color, but absolutely love these. So that is it for the house. 
I love this van, this landing. I'm so glad we didn't keep the carpet. I had to tell the installers how to make that work because they wanted to leave it to where this had like a half inch gap and put shoe molding and then this was going to be like a half inch lower than this which I thought was stupid. So now apparently I'm a floor installer too. But yeah, it is storming so I'm going to get ready to head home. But this is it. New beauty and I get to move in about a week. All right, so that is it for the tour. Excuse my face. I worked out earlier and then literally have been sweating, moving stuff up to my beauty room. But hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll give you updates once stuff starts getting moved in and show you how it looks when it's done. See you guys in my next video. Bye.